Hello everyone. My name is uh, Tarun Jaitley and I am a sales engineer uh, in the enterprise Bay Area West region. And what we are going to do today is uh, we are going to do a demo of a very new exciting feature called Document AI uh, released by Snowflake. Uh, what is Document AI actually? So Document AI is a Snowflake AI feature that uses Arctic Tilt, a proprietary large language model to extract data from documents. So what Document AI does is it processes documents of various formats and extracts information from both text heavy paragraphs and the content in a graphical form such as logos, uh, even handwritten text like signatures or check marks. Uh, with Document AI, you can prepare pipelines for continuous processing of new documents of a specific type such as a invoices or finance statements. Document AI provides both zero-shot extraction and fine-tuning. Zero-shot means that the foundation model can locate and extract information specific to a document type even if the model has never been, never seen the document before. So this is because the foundation model is trained on a large volume of various documents. So the model broadly understands the type of document being processed. Uh, additionally, you can fine tune the Snowflake Arctic Tilt model and improve your results by training the model on the documents specific to your use case. Uh, the fine-tuned model, including the training data used, is available only to you and is not shared with any other Snowflake customers. So when to use Document AI, right? Uh, Document AI is best used when you want to turn unstructured data from documents into structured data in tables. Uh, and this is what we're going to demo today. Uh, you want to al also, it can be used when you want to create pipelines for continuous processing of new documents of okay? it. Uh, specific types. And the other advantage is the business users with domain knowledge prepare the model uh, for the documents and that the data engineers can use SQL uh, to prepare the pipelines to automate the processing of new documents. Uh, so there are two, working with document AI basically involves two phases. First is preparing a document AI model build and the second is extracting information from documents. So what we are going to do is first is we are going to build a model, right? So here are the steps. Uh, I'm basically logged into Snowflake and under the AIML tab, uh, there is this document AI tab, which I have logged in. Uh, I'm going to build a model. Uh, and I'm going to call that model uh, demo uh, document AI, right? Uh, I'm going to choose a database. Let me choose the database, Document AI Demo Database. Uh, I'm going to choose the public schema, right? And I'm going to say Create. So once I do that, basically what it does is, right, uh, it will uh, basically create a, a sample, basically the base, the base model, right? And once that is done, what we will do is we will use documents to further train this model, our specific documents to train this model so that it can recognize those specific documents. So in order to train the model, uh, I'm going to basically upload certain documents, right? And what these documents are, these are basically some inspection reports that, that we have, right? These are some sample uh, PDF documents. So all these different formats are supported, basically. If you have documents in docx, EML, HTML, JPEG, GPG, PDF, et cetera, right? All of these documents are basically supported uh, with that, right? So let me upload a sense of uh, a, a subset of the documents that I have, which I will use to train these, right? So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load like eight documents in order to train the model. And then what I'm going to use do is use the rest eight documents basically run the model on the rest eight documents to extract the same information, right? So let me upload these documents.
Yeah. So while it is loading the documents, right, uh, I can basically go ahead and uh, basically see all the documents that are there. Uh, it's basically processing those documents too, but I can go ahead and uh, see those documents, right? So let me go here, and as it loads documents, uh, right, I will see those documents. So what we'll do is, right, we'll go document by document and further train uh, that specific model to basically be able to recognize the different uh, fields within this uh, specific document. So I'm going to start reviewing the documents, right? So I'm going to go ahead and open the first document. And as you can see, this is that specific document that I was talking about, right? And we can start asking, basically uh, uh, extract information, right? Define the values to extract from this document, right? Uh, specify value names and ask questions in natural language. So the first one is machine, right? So I can ask the question, right? What is the machine? Uh, here, name, basically I can ask it, right? And let's see, uh, it's basically, since it scanned the document, it's able to identify those, right? And it's an injection molder, and I can see that, right? I can validate and say, yes, this is the right answer, right? The next question that I can ask is, right, uh, what is the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, name, uh, the name is a serial number? Of the, of the column and then what is the serial number, right? This is the question that I can ask, right? And let's see whether it's able to identify the serial number. Right, and yeah, it is able to, and I, so since I did this, right, I can validate that this answer is correct, right? The next step is, I will ask, uh, what is the inspection grade? Right, and Let's see whether it's able to uh, uh, identify those questions, uh, that, that uh, th this inspection grade. And as you can see, this is written in uh, handwritten, right? So yes, it's able to identify even handwritten values, right? Uh, then I can ask, who is this being inspected by, right? Who has inspected this machine? Right, let's ask this question. Yes, and it's able to identify, right? And then a couple of more questions like date, right? So what is the date of inspection? So as you can see, it can identify handwritten values too. And then I will ask the last question is address. What is, is the address of the machine? This is another question. Yeah. So as you can see, it, has, it was able to identify 1661 Mesa Drive, Las Vegas. So now I have asked all the questions that I want, all the, uh, basically, uh, all the data, basically, right? Structured data that I need to, I want to extract from uh, this specific unstructured document, right? And then I can basically train it on, ask the same questions on for the other documents that I loaded. So the more documents that I train the model on, the better uh, the model becomes, right? So I can basically, as you can see, right, uh, the rest of the questions also, for the next document also, it's able to identify all the different fields. What are the machines, serial number, inspection gate, inspected by, right? All of these are correct, so I can quickly say yes, these are all correct, right? And I can then basically uh, go ahead to the next document, right? And do this exercise on, uh, on as many documents as I can. Uh, normally it is recommended like uh, you can, you should do it on anywhere around uh, 20, 20 documents, right? So I will accept all these answers for this document too. Uh, as I know these are, it is extracting the information correctly, right? And since we are uh, doing a demo here, I'll just train it on eight documents.
Yeah. So as you can see, uh, I've trained the model uh, on all the eight documents, right? The, so this is the p first part where I have basically uh, uploaded all the documents uh, and trained the model on these specific documents. Now the next step here is basically what I will do is I will go ahead and publish this specific model, right? I will publish this model. So here I'll go here and I will publish this model, right? And once I publish this model, basically I will uh, I have uh, it generates a SQL here which actually tells you how to extract, use this specific model, the one that I had, we have created, and basically run it on other documents that you can upload to an internal stage and extract the information, right? So what I'm going to do is, right, let's go, go to uh, uh, a script to do that specific steps, right? So I will go here. I'm going to basically use that specific uh, uh, database and schema, right? Uh, I'm going to create a stage called documents upload, right? And I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load the rest of the eight of the documents in this specific stage, right? So let me go there. Uh, where is that? I'm going to go to the document AI demo. I'm going to go to public, go to stage, and I'm going to upload it here into internal stage. So it could be an internal stage. Uh, you can actually push documents automatically also using uh, Snow CLI or, uh, uh, or Snow SQL, right? Uh, but here, here's what we are going to do is that we are going to go ahead and uh, since it's a demo, we are going to just upload it through the Snow site UI, right? So I'm going to go here, I'm going to browse my laptop, and I had basically done, uploaded the eight, right? I'm going to do the rest of the eight documents. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. I'm going to select these documents. I'm going to go ahead and upload these documents, right? And now these documents are available in this specific stage, right? The next step that we are going to do now here is, we are going to go ahead and extract, use that specific model to extract those specific uh, uh, columns or the, those specific fields that we had uh, trained our model on from the other documents, from these new documents that we have uploaded, right? So we are going to go here, and we are going to go to the specific script. And as you can see, this, this was the specific query, right? So what I have done is, right, I have basically, uh, this is that, uh, the specific stage where we had loaded the documents. This is our specific model that we had, and we are going to use this predict function, and then we are going to basically run this on top of those new set of documents that we have uploaded, right? So th this, uh, this query was provided by that model, but we have modified it to our specific, uh, to basically add our specific stage where the new set of documents are there, right? Let me go ahead and execute this. Right. So what, what it is doing is, it is taking the model that we have developed, and it is applying on this new set of documents. And then it will be able to extract that information. Right. So the uh, good thing about this is basically is that uh, once we execute these uh, specific uh, query, right, and we extract that information, what we can also do is after that is, right, we can actually put that in a specific table, right? And we can actually build a pipeline where as new documents come in, we execute this specific query, extract that information, and keep putting it in that specific, right? So as you can see, it was able to extract that specific information from those eight new documents uh, that we have created. And what we are going to do is, right, as you can see, this information is there, uh, in, 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 a, in a semi-structured format, uh, like a JSON, what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and create a table which will extract that information and it is going to put that information uh, in a variant column uh, for, from those eight new documents that we have uploaded, right? So uh, we can build pipelines. Uh, we can basically have uh, pipelines where as and new documents come in, uh, we can pipe it through this, 
uh, execute the query, extract that information, and keep loading it into a table, right? So uh, a repetitive process, right? So extracting, and as you can see, this table has been created, and then if I execute this query, right, I can see that all those informations are there in the variant column for all these eight columns, right? So uh, this is basically our uh, demo for uh, a document AI. It's a very exciting new feature. If you have documents where like receipts or manuals or any other type of financial documents, uh, any type of documents where you want to extract structured data out of those unstructured documents, right? Uh, you can use this. It, it is able to understand logos. It is able to understand handwritten, uh, handwritten text also on the, from those specific documents. So hope uh, you like this demo. And I hope you are going to use Document AI for your documents, right? Uh, for uh, doing your uh, extracting information and doing anal analysis on top of it. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, watching the demo.